Hey, welcome back. We are at the Gospel of Luke, chapter 3, today, verses 7 through 9. We're looking especially at the work of God's herald, John the Baptist, the one who came before Jesus at the first coming. So now verses 7 and 9, Then he said to the multitudes that came out to be baptized by him, Brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Therefore bear fruits worthy of repentance, and do not begin to say to yourselves, Ah, we have Abraham as our father. For I say to you that God is able to raise up children to Abraham from these stones. And even now the axe is laid to the root of the trees. Therefore every tree which does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Uh, Kind of evangelistic words here by John, right? Uh, is this the way you would start an evangelistic meeting? You, you have come here to this meeting? You, you think you're going to come here to be baptized? Brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Uh, seems like that's not what we were taught. But you know, this is John, the Holy Spirit is leading him, and what's going on? His preaching has become popular throughout all the land, and now what comes when that comes? Well, out come not only the serious people, not only the people who are, are fully invested in God, but also the, the hypocrites the curious, the people looking for loaves and fishes, you know, and so now everyone wants to be baptized, you know, they all want the t-shirt. And so John warns them, ah, ah, ah." he says, no, if you're here, it's got to be because it's a serious thing. If you're just here because everybody else is here, if your heart isn't here with you, you're in the wrong place. You know, you're dismissed. This isn't for you. Give your heart to God and then come and see me. And of course, then he would baptize them. So friends, there's a strong message here brood of vipers. Uh, There is wrath coming. And he says, show it, show it. Don't just talk about it. Bear fruits worthy of repentance. Show your repentance by changing what you do. And so uh, they were relaxed. They thought, oh yeah, we have the right ethnicity. We're good to go. And John said, no, you're not. No, you're not. Jesus wants the heart. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we know you want our heart. You want us to be right. You want to give us the gift of repentance. It's not in us. It's a gift from you. Lord, many come and seek, and sometimes even we, somebody who's listening to this, that might might be watching this kind of with kind of an ah, kind of a a mode or a spirit of indifference. So Lord, we just pray you'll help us to be in your word, help us to look at it seriously, help us to think about moral and spiritual things seriously. And then Lord, you offer to open the gates of heaven and give us your blessings. Thank you because we really need them. Please bless every heart, even the hearts that aren't quite sure what they're doing here. Bless them as they think on your things, we ask in Jesus' name, amen. Friend, John the Baptist wasn't just preaching to the people there at the Jordan River. John was preaching to you and to me. Let's seek to be faithful to Jesus. God's blessings be upon you today.